Now, the submarine has been around in one form or another since the American Civil War, believe it or not. The basic principles were worked out, the idea that you could flood compartments and then empty them again so the thing would go up and down. It has a leaky bit and it has a perfectly, it must be perfectly, waterproof bit. Well, to be honest, some of the early ones didn't work and all the crew drowned. But anyway, the idea that a thing like a submarine, this massive contraption, can be made perfectly and utterly reliably waterproof leads me to wonder why mobile phones aren't. Why is a mobile phone destroyed if you so much as sneeze on it and get a bit of bogey in one of the cracks? There's no reason why a mobile phone shouldn't be completely waterproof, in my view, but at least, you know, shower and splash of beer proof. Otherwise, you go to the shop and say, the mobile phone's not working, and they put it in an x-ray scanner or something, and they say, oh, yes, it's got water damage. I'm afraid you've invalidated your warranty. Bollocks. It's just a plot to sell us stuff. It would be like making saucepans with holes in. You know, a tiny little bit that would break the instant you touched it with a spoon. Oh, well, I'm afraid you've touched it with a spoon. So, yes, but it's a, it's a saucepan. Oh, I'm afraid you've used your mobile phone in the rain. Well, it rains, doesn't it? It's England.